Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today is 29th of August 2020 and in this video we are going to see all the important current affairs from 29th of August 2020. Before starting today's video, we will quickly revise the questions asked in our last video. Our first question was, which state or union territories police has launched Ek Sankalpa Buzurgo Ke Naam campaign? Answer is Madhya Pradesh. Which is the first foreign bank to launch a green deposit program in India? Answer is HSBC Bank. Which of the following companies has recently launched Kormo Jobs app in India? Answer is Google. Which of the following day is celebrated as World Senior Citizens Day annually? Answer is 21st August. Fifth question was, which of the following day is celebrated as International Day of Remembrance and Tribute to the Victims of Terrorism annually? Answer is 21st August. Which of the following banks has recently launched Loan Against Securities Scheme? Answer is Yes Bank. Next, which of the following institutions has recently developed the antimicrobial suit Aushat Tara to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. Answer is Defense Institute of Advanced Technology. Eighth question was which state in India has become the first state to offer government jobs on the basis of marks obtained in NRA test. Answer is Madhya Pradesh. Ninth question was who has been recently appointed as the new election commissioner of India. Answer is Raju Kumar. And last question was which state government has launched the Indira Rasoi Yojana recently. Answer is Rajasthan. These were the questions asked in our last video. Now we'll start today's video. Our first question is Which state's government has launched India's longest drop over Brahmaputra River? Answer is option number two Assam. Recently, Assam government has inaugurated a 1.8 kilometer long ropeway over the Brahmaputra river connecting Guwahati to North Guwahati. It is the longest ropeway on the river in India. It has been built at the cost of 56 crore. Answer will be option number 2 Assam. Assam, look at the map. This is Assam. Capital is Dispur. Governor Jagdish Mukhi. Chief Minister is Sarvananda Sonowal. Its legislature has 126 members. 14 members are elected to Lok Sabha and 7 members are elected to Rajya Sabha from Assam. It borders with Bhutan, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, Meghalaya, Tripura, Mizoram and Bangladesh. Brahmaputra is the main river of Assam. Bihu is the main festival of Assam. And official language of Assam is Assamese. Also, it is the largest tree producing state in India. Kaziranga National Park is also located in Assam. And Mazuli, which is the largest river island in the world, is also located in Assam. Next question. Which state has started registration of construction workers? Answer is option number 2, Delhi. Recently, Delhi Labor and Employment Minister Gopal Rai has announced that the state government will organize camps to enable registrations of construction workers for a period of 15 days starting from August 24, 2020 in all the 70 assembly constituencies of the state. Answer will be option number 2, Delhi. Next, Mahatma Gandhi's iconic round-shaped spectacles were sold for how much amount at a UK auction. Answer is option number 1, rupees 2.55 crore. Recently, a pair of iconic glasses belonging to Mahatma Gandhi were sold for rupees 2.55 crore at an auction in United Kingdom. Answer will be option number 1. Next question, who among the following has recently appointed as the new managing director of the State Bank of India? That is SBI. Answer is option number 2, Ashwini Bhatia. Look at the image, this is Ashwini Bhatia and recently, government of India has appointed Ashwini Bhatia as the Managing Director of SBI. He has been appointed as the Managing Director up to 31st of May 2022. Currently, he is working as the Managing Director and CEO of SBI Mutual Fund. Answer will be option number 2. He has been appointed as the MD of SBI. SBI, SBI is an Indian multinational public sector banking and financial services body. It was formed on 1st of July 1955. Its headquarters is in Mumbai and currently Chairman of SBI is Rajnish Kumar. Next, which country has recently discovered a large natural gas reserve in the Black Sea? Answer is option number 4, Turkey. Recently, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has announced on August 21st, 2020 that Turkey has discovered nearly 320 billion cubic meters of natural gas and it is the biggest ever natural gas reserve in the Black Sea. Answer will be option number 4, Turkey. Turkey, look into the map. This is Turkey. Capital is Ankara. President is Recep Tayyip Erdogan and currency of Turkey is Turkish Lira. Next question. Which ministry has recently launched a mobile app called 
Harit Path. Answer is option number 4. Ministry of Road, Transport and Highways. Recently, the Ministry of Road, Transport and Highways has launched a mobile app called Harit Path to monitor plantation along with national highways through geotagging and web-based GIS-enabled monitoring tools. This GPS-based app has been developed by National Highway Authority of India, a public sector undertaking or PSU under the Ministry of Road, Transport and Highways. And this app has been developed to monitor locations, growth, spaces, details, maintenance activities, targets and achievements of each of its field. Answer will be option number 4. Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. Next, which of the following day is celebrated as the International Day for Victims of Acts of Violence based on religion or belief? Answer is option number 1, 22nd August. Every year, 22nd August is celebrated as International Day for Victims of Act of Violence based on religion or belief. This day has been designated by the United Nations for states to set up their efforts to combat intolerance, discrimination and violence against persons based on religion or belief answer will be option number one 22nd august next question which of the following bank has recently launched gig a opportunity initiative answer is option number one axis bank recently axis bank has launched an initiative called gig a opportunity and it has been launched with the aim to attract skilled talent that can work with the bank remotely from anywhere in the country answer will be option number one axis bank Axis Bank, it is an Indian private bank founded in 1933. Headquarters is in Mumbai and currently chairman of Axis Bank is Sri Rakesh Makhija. Next, with which of the following institutions Indian government has signed a loan agreement worth 500 million US dollar for a transport project in Mumbai? Answer is option number 2, AIIB that is Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Recently, the government of India, Maharashtra government and Mumbai Railway Vikas Corporation has signed a loan agreement of $500 million with the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank that is AIIB for Mumbai Urban Transport Project. Answer will be option number 2, AIIB. AIIB, long form is Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. It is a multilateral development bank that aims to improve economic and social outcomes in Asia. Asia. It was formed on 16th of January 2016. Headquarters is in Beijing, China and currently president is Jin Likan. Next, which is the first bank in India to use satellite data to access credit worthiness of farmers? Answer is option number one, ICICI Bank. Recently, ICICI Bank has become the first bank in India to use satellite data to access credit worthiness of farmers. And it is an initiative of ICICI Bank to measure an array of parameters related to the land irrigation, crop patterns and use it in combination with demographic and financial parameters to make quick lending decisions for farmers. Answer will be option number 1, ICICI Bank. ICICI Bank, it is an Indian multinational banking and financial services company. It was formed on 5th of January 1944. Headquarter is in Mumbai and currently chairman of ICICI Bank is Girish Chandra Chaturvedi. Next, which of the following continents has been declared as polio free by World Health Organization recently? Answer is option number one, Africa. Recently, Africa has been declared free of polio by World Health Organization. Nigeria was the last African country to be declared free from polio virus. Nigeria accounted for more than half of all global cases in less than a decade ago answer will be option number one africa it has been declared by world health organization it is also called who it is a specialized agency of united nations responsible for international public health it was formed on 7th of april 1948 headquarters is in geneva switzerland currently director general is tedros adnam and deputy director general is saumya Swaminathan. now today's question question is which is the first country in the world to officially register a covid 19 vaccine named sputnik v options are china russia united states and india if you know answer of this question you can write it in the comment section below or we will discuss this question in the next video